What's going on guys, No Slack Novak here with another episode of No Slack Racing. Now we are in uh, race 6 now of the uh, 10 race season. As you guys can clearly see, No Slack Racing is in 3rd place overall in the team standings. And then our new driver, Alora, who is our top free agent recruit, uh, she won the European Racing Series last year. Uh, this year she is currently in 3rd, she's 5 points behind Arbaloa. And she is 10 points behind Wilson of Garuda Racing. And then a few of you guys are pointing out too, look at that, we have Andre Gomez here who was with us um, last season. And he is currently, uh, what was he, 8th? 5th, uh, he's currently 5th. So he's doing pretty well for himself, congratulations to you. And then uh, we don't have Faith anymore um, on our team, let alone in our league. She is now a reserve driver for either an Asia Pacific Super Cup team or a... Um, championship uh, league team. I don't quite remember which one. But, you know, that being said, uh, let's go ahead and move on. Now, we are going to do a little bit of improving here for the car parts. Um, these will be done one day before the race. The performance improvement and then the reliability improvement is also going to get worked on. We are in the high 80s, which is quite excellent. Uh, we're going to do probably uh, eight more days. Or actually, these are going to be done eight days before the race. So we'll probably do a little bit of simulation here. And then I'll cut to um, when these are done and we'll do uh, some more reliability. All right, so here we are. We're 16 days before the race, and what I want to do is I actually want to take these parts off. As you can see, they're all in the low 90s, which is uh, pretty, pretty damn excellent. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to take those off, and we're going to actually throw in some of these other parts that need a little bit of improvement. So um, our brakes, they're both at 81%. They could use a little bit of improvement. And then I'm thinking we'll probably... Maybe we should do the front wings and the rear wings too, huh? I mean, the suspensions are up there too. You know what? Let's go ahead and work on those. We'll do a few days worth of improvements on those. And then, um, yeah, we'll do a few days worth of improvements on those. And then we'll probably throw in the, uh, the wings too. Those won't be done for probably um, until the next race. All right, so here we are. We're one day before traveling to the next race. And as we can see... Our performance uh, parts that we were working on are totally maxed out. Both of our engines are top of the line as far as how far we can get the performance on those guys. Um, front wings, rear wings, obviously we can't improve those much. Um, what I think we're going to do, we're going to work on the, uh, the gearbox next. We're going to work on improving both of those. And then the suspensions as well. So those are going to both go in there. Um, we're going to uh, we're gonna keep these parts there until they get up to 100%, and then we'll probably just replace them with some of the other ones uh, that need a little bit of uh, more work. Now, I'm thinking what we'll do here, um, I think we want to kind of, you know, let's do 50-50. We'll do 10 and 10. We'll work on improving the performance of these parts as well as improving the reliability of the rest. And then once all of our parts are max reliability, then we can just focus on the uh, performance for the rest of the season. We did have uh, some scouting done here too, which is quite nice. We could actually fit in some more um, scouting here on some of these drivers. Uh, we can't scout any of these guys because we were already maxed out. Look at that, Zoe Sharp. Look at that, 29. She's a free agent. Holy crap, she's a great driver. 20, 19, 17, 20. She's not interested, that's why. Man, look at that, she's freaking great. She's like probably the best driver in the league or in, in the world right now. That's crazy. Crazy that she's a free agent. Anyways, uh, so that's one of the things that we do with the scouting. We unlock superstars like that. Sometimes they want to sign with us. Sometimes they don't. One thing I'm concerned about, we have uh, we have $2.1 million, and we're going to lose $1.9 million this race if we don't get a sponsor's objective, which frightens, uh, frightens me a little bit. Uh, we will get some more sponsors after this race, or we'll get one sponsor after this race. And then we'll get a few more um, the, the race after that, and then a couple more after that. So finances are, are definitely going to be tight here uh, towards the end of the season. What I think we're going to do, we're going to do Nippon here, 400,000. We, we're pretty much guaranteed to get 10th or above. Uh, so we'll settle for that, 400,000. Part fitting, I don't think we need to concern ourselves with, just because we already have the best parts assigned to the best drivers, right? And Falco, somebody was pointing out, Falco is the better of the two drivers. So maybe what we should do, maybe we should actually give Falco the better parts. Let's try that just for one race. For one race, we're going to give him the better vehicle. And we'll see how that works out for us. Um, now they're both unhappy. They're both angry. Let's give him the better parts. So he's content now. He's at negative 7 and 4, and she's pretty pissed off. 
But you know what? We're going to leave that the way it is. We'll uh, we'll try to get Falco into a better uh, standings here. And like I said, he is the better driver. So hopefully that'll allow us to finish a little bit better this race. Uh, still just shooting for 10th or better, though. So let's do that for now. And then next race, we might change that. All right, so here we are in our practice setup for the Munich race. I already have the car balance tuned here. I don't figure uh, you guys want to watch that. So I went ahead, I simulated that, did that myself. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the practice. Let's go ahead and send these guys out. Bam, bam, bam. And we'll do the same thing for Laura. Bam, bam, bam. Send these guys out and we'll see what we can get their cars tuned to here in the 10-minute uh, the or 12-minute practice session. All right, so here we are towards the end of the race. We can see that uh, we are on level two for the soft tires and the race trim. And then uh, Falco actually finished with the fastest practice time, and Laura is in seventh. Oh, fifth, look at that, she just jumped up to fifth. Not bad, first and fifth, really not bad. And uh, looks like giving Falco those better car parts actually was the smart move, just because he did finish uh, almost a full second. Well, I guess that wouldn't be a second, right? That would be like a tenth of a second uh, ahead of Sabato for the fastest practice time. Okay, so here we are race day. Let's go ahead and put our um, soft tires and race trim on here. Oh, look at that. Higher engine modes no longer impact condition, which is excellent. However, it still does impact um, fuel uh, use. But, you know what? That might be something that we want, actually. Um, especially, let's check out the weather real quick. It is going to be raining. Uh, we're probably going to have to work on the inters. So, you know what? Let's do this. Um, we are going to do the race trim and the engine expert and then over here we're going to do the race trim and let's just do the regular soft tires there maybe we'll be able to use those towards the end of the race and then I think we're going to have let's check out our car setup 92% over here that's the best we got for Laura um, tire choice we're going to go with the inters the intermediate tires we're going to have our 10 laps worth of fuel now let's see we have 25 laps so you know what, we could probably do, let's do seven, just so we can kind of start off a little bit faster. So we'll do seven here, and then we could do ten and ten, and then that will give us enough to actually finish the race with. So seven, beautiful, one lap of fuel equals per lap. Okay, yeah, okay, that'll, that'll work. And then let's come over here, let's do something uh, similar for Falco. We're at 97% set up there, which is excellent. Again, we're going to run on the intermediate tires. And then here, let's go ahead and give him... You know what, let's give him the seven laps. Actually, no, you know what, let's give him eight. We'll let him do one more lap, kind of get a little bit better positioning, and then uh, give him a little bit later of a pit stop. And then over here, we're going to start off hot and heavy. Attack and overtake, um, especially with their uh, less fuel in the gas tank. That'll kind of allow them to jump off. Quick start, hopefully. Hopefully. Now, I uh, would love for both of our drivers to finish in the top three, obviously, right? Podium for both of them. But um, Falco, I have high hopes for Falco given the fact that he has the uh, the better car this this race. And looks like the less fuel is actually helping him out pretty well. He's moving up. Uh, he's in 10th now. Let's go ahead and actually follow Falco a little bit. Laura is in 19th. Falco dropped down to 11th. But, uh, you know, I think he's going to be doing just fine with the, uh, the fuel situation that he's got going on. Let's go ahead and speed up time. Still 10th place for Falco. Laura's all the way in 20th now. Falco dropped down to 11th. I'm trying to need these guys to get on the straightaway or something. Come on, guys. Little bit of a mix up here. Falco's in 13th. Laura's in 17th. 14th and 17th now for Falco and Laura. Double wide into the turns right there. Ooh, bumping a little bit. Yellow flag, no overtaking. All right. 13th and 18th. Lots of position changes. Let's go ahead and lower the temperature here on the tires for both of our drivers. They're getting a little bit too hot, too far into the little red zone there. 15th and 16th. Oh man, okay, so 13th and 14th now. Pretty much right next to each other. 12th and 13th. 12th and 15th now, wow, okay, Falco, come on buddy, I need you to start doing something. Show me something, buddy, show me something. Let's lower his strategy a little bit. We'll go to high for both. Actually, you know, we're going to go to medium for Falco just so that he can uh, definitely stay out there that one lap longer than Laura. Uh, we're going to have Laura pit one lap sooner. And if we check out the weather forecast, it is going to rain for about three more laps. 
and there's going to be some rain on the oh and we have our forecasting center too so see we can see uh, further in advance it is going to actually start raining here in a little bit so i think we're just going to stick with the intermediate tires for probably the entire race now we are in the sponsor's objective because falco is in 10th place now laura is in 16th falco is doing fine let's go ahead and follow laura here a little bit more um i'm thinking we're going to put her on push and we're or on overtake and we're going to actually have her pit right now we're going to give her a new set of intermediate tires and we're going to give her the full 10 laps worth of fuel um, park condition uh, looking a-okay front wing had a little little worn down but you know what more than okay there let's go ahead and do that with her set up let's go to Falco who's now in ninth place he overtook Sabato for ninth place and hopefully he can uh, gain a little bit more here look at that eighth beautiful come on Falco keep it up buddy do a little bit more catching up here. No, no, don't let him pass you. Don't let him pass you. Okay, now that Falco is passed, you know, we could probably have him do one more lap. We'll do one more lap for Falco. Ninth, eighth, seventh now. Beautiful little double overtake there for Falco. And Laura with her pit stop is now in 17th. And we're actually going to lower this back down to neutral and medium. Alright, Falco's now in 7th. He has one and a half laps worth of fuel left. I think we're going to go ahead and let him do this one more lap. And then we'll schedule a pit stop for him right now. Um, let's see here. So, yes, it is going to actually... It's going to stop raining for about four laps. However, there's always going to be a little bit of water on the track. So we're just going to go ahead and switch to another set of intermediate tires. We're going to give him the full 10 laps worth of fuel that we can. Parts are looking fine, front wing and the rear wing are wearing down a little bit faster than I would like. But you know what, I think we'll be okay there. Let's go ahead and push on these tires a little bit too. A little bit more push over here for Laura as well. So Falco is going to pit uh, probably in 7th place. Uh, I'm not quite sure when the rest of the uh, drivers are going to make their little pit stop here. I'm guessing probably another lap or two. And uh, looks like the fuel, uh, okay, we're going to pit sixth. Uh, looks like the little fuel thing that we did at the beginning of the race where we took away two or three laps worth of fuel didn't really do too much in terms of getting him uh, out there a little bit faster, which is a little disappointing. 16th and 17th now, both of our drivers are pretty much right next to each other. However, the rest of the field has yet to pit. They will be pitting here very, very soon. So we'll definitely do a little bit of more uh, gaining up on them here in the next uh, probably two laps or so. Still 16th and 17th for Falco and Laura respectively, out of the sponsor's objective, clearly. Trenowith, which is a driver that I'm not too familiar with, has crashed, so he is out of the race. We cannot finish worse than 19th. Okay, looks like Dembel, who's in second. Oh, look at Five of the top six. Oh, a lot of people are pitting now. Excellent, excellent. Let's do a little bit of uh, catching up here. Track is dry out, boss. Let's pit for slicks. Absolutely not. It is going to start raining here again very, very soon. So we are not going to pit for slicks. Sorry. Eleventh and twelfth now for Falco and Laura, which is not bad, but it is out of the sponsor's objective. Tires are both looking fine. The, uh, the wear and the temperatures are fine for both of our drivers right now. Falco is in 11th. Laura dropped down to 15th. Looks like uh, Laura with her uh, weaker car is just not, uh, not as strong. Which, I mean, it makes sense, but uh, you would think she wouldn't drop off that bad just because the car parts were, went down a little bit. But look, Falco is in 9th. He's kind of struggling to maintain. Yep, he just let... Uh, not good. Top nine drivers roll on mediums, which kind of makes me think we might have switched to, uh, to mediums. But it is going to start raining here again in about a lap or two. Uh, the wetness on the track is going to rise, and we will not have to pit for uh, about six more laps with Falco. So, uh, we, you know, even though we're kind of struggling now, we will it will be an advantage for us in about two laps. Yeah, lots of cars passing up Falco. Okay. Yeah, those intermediate tires on the dry track are definitely showing a performance uh, lag there. 12th and 13th, Falco and Laura. 
Laura's got three laps of fuel left, Falco has five, and it is gonna start raining here any moment now. Giving us a little increase with the intermediates. Let's go ahead and increase the tire temperature here for Laura, and we're gonna do the same thing over here for Falco. Not quite too happy with the 12th and 13th place uh, position right now. But again, that should change here quite shortly. Hopefully, there we go, it's starting to rain again. So uh, we're, we'll see a little bit of a performance boost here. Uh, curious to see if the top eight drivers who are all on medium tires are gonna be pitting here soon or not. Or is gonna have to pit here uh, on the next go around probably. Let's go ahead and see where she's at exactly. Not too far behind Falco. She's got the one point, you know, let's, can we, put, can we have her pit now? Let's give her a new set of intermediates, right? Because it is going to rain for the rest of the race. And we might actually want to do, do we want to do wets? No, you know what, I think we're going to stick with a, a set of intermediate tires. We'll give her the 10 laps worth of fuel. And park conditions are looking okay. The front wing's a little bit messed up, suspension as well, but neither are really in jeopardy of getting into the red. Pit strategy, we will stick with balanced and, okay, good. She, uh, she managed to get in there. That is excellent. Tires needed it as well, so that's good there. Let's follow Falco, who's now in 10th, so back into the uh, the sponsor's objective. And yeah, the intermediates are definitely helping out. He's going to be able to do some passing up here. Beautiful, now in 9th position. Uh, all of the drivers ahead of him are either on mediums or softs, so uh, definitely going to see a bonus here for Falco. Definitely think he's going to be getting a little bit of a... A boost here with those. He is a full 10 seconds behind 8th place driver, but catching up. Catching up pretty quickly too, as a matter of fact. 9 laps remaining in the race. He is going to have to pit here. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to schedule a pit. Let's give him a fresh set of intermediate tires. We'll give him, uh, we'll do the full 9, well 9.5 is the most we can do. Parts are looking okay. Pit strategy, balanced. You know what, let's take a chance. It's only going to cut two seconds off. You know what? We'll do balance. I don't want to take that chance. And we'll have him pit here on this next uh, next possibility, which is right now. Went into pit lane ninth, and he's going to go out at least 12th. At least 12th. Um, 13th. Okay, he's in 13th now, but again, he's going to have the rest of the race to do some catching up. Top uh, six drivers are probably all going to have to pit, which the, some of them are actually doing right now. And most likely they'll be switching to intermediates, which yes, they are. All right. 13th and 14th for Falco and Laura. Everybody's gonna be on intermediates here. 8th and 14th now for Falco and Laura. 8th and 13th, 8th and 12th. Uh, again, a little bit disappointing here with the uh, the overall performance. I would expect Falco to do a little bit better than 8th. I'm thinking that fuel um, strategy we used at the start of the race really hurt us in the long run, which now I know I'm not going to do that anymore. But uh, let's see if Falco can uh, catch up here with uh, Lau, who's in 7th. And yep, he did pass him up. He's in 6th now. Beautiful there. Laura's going to also do a little bit of passing on her own. She is now in 10th. Battling 10th and 11th. Falco's in 6th. We are almost guaranteed then to finish in the uh, the top for the uh, sponsor's objective. Let's lower the uh, tire uh, over here for the the driving style for Laura and Falco. Tires are getting a little bit a uh, little bit heated there. 6th and 11th. Everybody in the race is working on intermediate tires. 211 miles per hour there for Falco. Not bad. Not bad at all. Definitely need to improve some of our car parts further though. However, we do not have the money to do that this season, so that's something we'll, we'll really focus on next season. I'm thinking um, we probably won't increase anything in the headquarters, which of course this is actually if we're actually still a uh, part of the uh, No Slack Racing team. There's a very good possibility that we can actually get fired because of our finances if we get too far below um, then we won't be able to spend any more money and we might actually get fired for having too little cash 6th and 11th for Falco and Laura uh, But if we do have the money, we're not going to invest it into any uh, HQ upgrades. We're just going to focus on car part upgrades Come on Falco 
still 6th and 11th, pretty set in that. Um, Falco is a full 12 seconds behind 5th place driver, and the 7th uh, place driver is right on his heels. Can't let up. Um, Laura's tires here are pretty hot still. I'm thinking we might have to go into conserve. You know what, I think we're going to leave them right where they are. Just because there are only two and a half laps or so remaining in the race. She should be fine. Falco is still 12 seconds behind the 5th place driver. Laura is in 11th. She's only 4 seconds behind 10th place. Which she uh, she could possibly catch up. But you know what? We're actually going to have to lower her engine mode. Uh, she does not look like she's going to be able to finish the race on the fuel that she has. Uh, Falco, who's in 6th, is battling, uh, battling Wilson, trying to maintain 6th place position. Uh, he does have excess fuel, so we could actually push him a little bit further. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm thinking once we do get on the last lap here for Falco, we're going to go... You know what, we could actually do that now. Let's go ahead and put him on overtake, and he should be fine. He should uh, easily finish the race with uh, enough fuel. Laura, though, is kind of struggling. She's low on fuel, and we did lower that all the way down to uh, low. Uh, hopefully she doesn't have issues with that. Now, Falco, come on, buddy. Maintain sixth place. I don't want you to finish worse than sixth. Come on, Falco. Don't let him pass you up here on the last few, uh, few meters. Go, 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 go. We've got you all the way on the driving top driving style. Don't let him pass you up. Don't do it. Don't do it. Go, 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 go. Beautiful. Okay, so Falco finished sixth. Laura uh, has fin... Oh, no, she's on her final lap. She's going to finish 12th. So sixth and 12th. Definitely a disappointing race for Laura. Not happy to see that whatsoever. Falco, on the other hand, did pretty dang well, even though I did expect him to finish better with the uh, the car that he had but again that might have been an issue with our fuel strategy which again we will not make that mistake a second time uh, lowering the fuel at the start of the race not something that really paid off for us um, our cars really didn't start off uh, that much faster so we're not gonna worry about doing that ever again nothing to uh, ding us on here with illegal parts or anything of that nature Sixth and Laura did maintain 12th even though Sarah here did go down two places for an illegal car part It did not affect Laura's finish uh, a little disappointing there and We are seeing that a few more cars are being dinged. Let's see time penalty and the drive-through penalty So really only one car was dinged there for an illegal part Now Laura did drop down. She is now fourth um, once one point behind Sabato there of Eastwood Motorsport. So clearly Eastwood Motorsport is going to be the top team right now. And then Falco did jump up to ninth, which is pretty nice there. I wonder what that did for our team standings. We are still in third now by 23 points. So it looks like third is pretty much where we're going to end up. Unless we have a huge meltdown or just absolutely kill it in the next four races. We are going to finish third this season, which really isn't that bad, right? Okay, so here we are. Here we can see some changes for the uh, the post-race team report. Laura did get her fitness back, which is excellent. She only improved by 1%, but she was down at, I want to say, 9. So she jumped back up to 19. Overall, a 3% increase there. And her relationship with her mechanic got a little bit better, too. Not bad there. Uh, relationship with the mechanic here is at 83. And Falco actually went up 10%. Most of that is probably because of his morale boost. Uh, which Laura's at 97 and Falco's at 69. I'm sure a lot of that had to do with his car being in the the better car. And again, Falco is the better driver overall, so we might we might stick with that the rest of the season, even though Laura is ahead of Falco uh, in the uh, the standings. Now we did get the sponsors objective, so instead of losing 1.9, we lost 1.5 million dollars, and we are now sitting at 623 thousand dollars, which is Absolutely horrible, but not much we can do about that now this late into the season All right guys, so that was a pretty uh, little you know, honestly, I'm a little disappointed with that finish uh, Falco finishing sixth was was right about where we wanted him to finish You know, maybe a little bit better given the fact that he had the better vehicle Laura definitely disappointing there for her uh, not quite sure what we're going to do about that, if we're going to maybe mix and match the parts a little bit or if we'll just flat out have Falco have the better vehicle. But um, overall, a little bit disappointed with the results there, but nothing we can do about that. There are four races remaining. We have 24 days until the next race day. 
We will get a new sponsorship opportunity in between that time. However, that is it for this episode, guys. If you liked it, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and check out the uh, the Patreon link in the description as well. Uh, we had two awesome people uh, support us in the last couple days, which is absolutely amazing. Hopefully more people will join on that bandwagon there. If you guys are enjoying the videos, do me a favor, keep watching. Uh, let me know in the comments what you like, what you don't like, what you'd like to see me change on the channel, if anything. And hopefully I'll see you guys on another video. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.